Many will call me an adventurer, and that I am, only one of a different sort, one who risks his skin to prove his truths. If you tremble with indignation at every injustice then you are a comrade of mine. We cannot be sure of having something to live for unless we are willing to die for it. Every day people straighten up the hair, why not the heart? At the risk of seeming ridiculous, let me say that the true revolutionary is guided by a great feeling of love. It is impossible to think of a genuine revolutionary lacking this quality. Let the world change you and you can change the world. Be realistic, demand the impossible. I am not a liberator, liberators do not exist. The people liberate themselves. I know you are here to kill me. Shoot, coward. You are only going to kill a man. The first duty of a revolutionary is to be educated. Silence is argument carried out by other means. And then many things became very clear. We learned perfectly that the life of a single human being is worth millions of times more than all the property of the richest man on earth. I would rather die standing up to live life on my knees. The walls of the educational system must come down. Education should not be a privilege, so the children of those who have money can study. Above all, always be capable of feeling deeply any injustice committed against anyone, anywhere in the world. I knew that when the great guiding spirit cleaves humanity into two antagonistic halves, I will be with the people. There is no other definition of socialism valid for us than that of the abolition of the exploitation of man by man. I will fight with all the weapons within my reach rather than let myself be nailed to a cross or whatever. The revolution is not an apple that falls when ripe. You have to make it fall. The best form of saying is being. A country that does not know how to read and write is easy to deceive. The true revolutionary is guided by great feelings of love. I now know, by an almost fatalistic conformity with the facts, that my destiny is to travel. The revolution is made through human beings, 
but individuals must forge their revolutionary spirit day by day. One has to grow hard but without ever losing tenderness. I don't care if I fall as long as someone else picks up my gun and keeps on shooting. What do we leave behind when we cross each frontier? Each moment seems split in two, melancholy for what was left behind and the excitement of entering a new land. It's a sad thing not to have friends, but it is even sadder not to have enemies. Wrapped in a police blanket, I watched the rain and smoked one black cigarette after another. Man truly achieves his full human condition when he produces without being compelled by the physical necessity of selling himself as a commodity. We must eliminate all newspapers, we cannot make a revolution with free press. Newspapers are instruments of the oligarchy. The word that most perfectly describes the city of Cuzco is evocative. Intangible dust of another era settles on its streets, rising like the disturbed sediment of a muddy lake when you touch its bottom. Perhaps one day, tired of circling the world I'll return to Argentina and settle in the Andean lakes, if not indefinitely then at least for a pause while I shift from one understanding of the world to another. For me, the sea has always been a confidant, a friend absorbing all it is told and never revealing those secrets, always giving the best advice, its meaningful noises can be interpreted any way you choose. Don't shoot. I'm Che. I'm worth more to you alive than dead. Some give the impression they go on living only because it's a habit they cannot shake. We won the war, the revolution begins now. We must take time to weep for our fallen compañeros while we sharpen our machetes. Democracy represents the dictatorship of the exploiting classes. Homesickness starts with food. We executed many people by firing squad without knowing if they were fully guilty. At times, the revolution cannot stop to conduct much investigation, it has the obligation to triumph. There is nothing that educates an honorable person more than living within a revolution. When the forces of oppression come to maintain themselves in power against established law, peace is considered already broken. When people hate their government, it is easy to take it down.
War is always a struggle in which each contender tries to annihilate the other. Besides using force, they will have recourse to all possible tricks and stratagems in order to achieve the goal. In a real revolution one either lives or dies. Have a wish, it is a fear as well, that in my end will be my beginning. I was, as we all are, a child of my environment. Above all, always be able to feel in your depths any injustice committed in any part of the world. It's the most beautiful quality of a revolutionary. It is important to emphasize that guerrilla warfare is a war of the masses, a war of the people, the guerrilla band is an armed nucleus, the fighting vanguard of the people.